Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Fuckatron This is level 10 Still don't know the name, hopefully you guys caught it yourself Anyways, let's go talk to Lawanda maybe Yep, what was it she said? Oh yeah, she said Earl is so cute I could just... What? What? Do what? Blah, blah, blah. Ah, come on How could you forget such a thing? That's important to someone like me I'm Toe Jam. I mean, I'm Toe Jam. I'm Earl, actually. Anyway, so now we're in Happening Hills. I guess the beginning of this level started in a somebody's house, or not in somebody's house, but in the vicinity of somebody's house. Oh my God! Burp coming back to kill me. Oh my God! That burp burns so hard. Oh, sorry. I just had like one of the most burningest burps ever just now. Sorry about that. My throat is on fire all of a sudden. Ugh. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just like really burning. It's made me not want to say anything for a second there. As you can see, my life is pretty low from the end of last level. I ended with very, all right, ended that, finished that level off and I had no health left. Whoa, watch out for the dogs. It's those damn duck dodgers guys who've pretty much been most spelled most of my doom between the dogs and the duck dodgers guys i think those have been cause of most deaths i guess if i t did like a death counter where i showed all of uh everything that has killed me in this game i would probably say the dog and duck dodgers have killed me the most like if i had to guess and probably the ne i don't know the next thing that's killed me quite a bit is the i died a few times in the water i think i died twice in the water I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to keep track of all the times I died. Not really that important. Especially in this game, in this uh, sequel, because like I've stated back in the first episode, there's not a mu as much of a premium on, uh, on lives since you get them for every certain amount of points you get. I still haven't tried to keep track of exactly how many points you need to get to get another one up. It's probably something like, I don't know, 10,000 maybe? Every, or not 10,000. Oh yeah, maybe it is 10,000. Well, we're about to find out when I hit the 10,000 mark. I'm about to hit it in 200 more points. So everybody count along with me. As soon as I hit that 200 point mark, get that next one up, maybe. See what happens. Maybe it's 20,000 points. I don't even know. Bitch ass little kid trying to kick me in the shin. Oh, maybe it is 10,000. I just got another one up. Have I gotten 18 one ups in this game so far? It's possible because I have died about 10 times. I would, at least I would guess about 10 times. I haven't really kept track of how many times I've actually died. I don't think I've gotten more than six lives at any one time. I know you can get as many as you can hold. Or not just as many as you can hold, but you know, as many as you want. There's not like a maximum amount of lives you can have at any one time. It just kind of keeps going. Oh, I did not know there was a secret in that wall there. Got kind of lucky. Ooh, please tell me this is one of, uh... Trixie's secret areas extra secret spot well it's not Trixie's secret spot but it's extra it's extra secret I don't know what that really means but uh maybe there will be something cool here maybe not looks like more like not I mean we got some free items don't get me wrong but it wasn't that cool Alright, so, anyways, let's get the hell out of this hole that I don't want to be in. Which I didn't even want to... I didn't realize there was going to be nothing special in there, except for... Okay, I was going to say, there's got to be boogies or something, because I'm not seeing anything, and there's the blinkingness. Oh, no! No, 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 not, you, not this bitch. Not this bitch. Not her. Anything but her. Ugh. Actually... I don't know if those things, have, the tourists have even killed me much in this in this let's play because I haven't let them. I know I died from one of them last last level, but otherwise I don't think I've let them kill me. So I think the whole point of this is uh, we're looking for Lawanda maybe in this level because Lawanda is going to be the one that knows where the f secret item is. I'm guessing. Le place le funk, le place de funk, la place de funk. Lacey Laplante. Lacey Laplante. Anybody like anybody on this uh, happen to be watching this like the show Weeds? It's 
pretty good show. It's pretty funny. Pretty good uh, story going on. Uh, the, the series finale is coming up pretty soon. And I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed by this last season overall. But overall, the show has been pretty damn entertaining and good. So anybody who hasn't seen the show Weeds, I'm a pretty big advocate of it. It's a pretty good show. I, I, I vouch for it. If you like comedy, uh, you know, like adult comedy. Because there's a lot of crudeness to it and sexual jokes and drugs because it's called Weeds. You can guess what it's about, right? Weeds. Weeds. Hmm, I wonder what drugs are in this show. Pretty much every drug, actually. Anyways, the only reason I said that is because I said Lacey Laplante, which is one of the uh, the main character in the show. She makes like a fake identity at a certain point in the show, and her fake identity is La Lacey Laplante. And why don't you just call me? I forget what she says. Why don't you just call me Mary Jane, Lacey Laplante? What do you think about that, Laplante? Oh man, I would so use a vacuum if I could get the Duck Dodgers guy to show up. Ah, you bitch. You fucking little bastard. You know what? Ah. Can't use it when you're in the air. Can't use it when you're in the air. Oh, whatever, I got I got some life, so we're good. Oh, god damn. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I dead? Yep, I'm dead. I just got freaking owned i just got double tripled quadruple teamed and shit that was not fair not fair at all it's time to get my payback on those bitches must get revenge payback is a bitch you bitches you little bitches come here you little fucking bitch come here box bitch Get, your, get in your box, bitch. Those things are worth so many points. The box guy and the, the duck guy are worth like a thousand apiece, huh? Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my God. Please. And you know what I just thought of that I forgot about? You can actually block yourself from getting, getting hit by the freaking... The flash. If you press down... You know how you press down to duck out of the way of the freaking duck dodgers guy well if you do that to if you do that when the the tourist comes out to flash you i think you can also dodge that like you cover your eyes so you don't get flashed and i think that works I'm pretty sure it does and i can't believe i forgot about it until just now and i'm already 10 levels into this damn game we're just gonna take me back up okay cool um in that case we're gonna go ahead and jump on the bubbles and see where they go don't care about the present Ignore the present. It's all about the past. Ignore. Oh, see what I mean? <sighs> I knew I shouldn't even have bothered with those presents. Should just made sure I landed on a bubble. Let's make out with a blowfish real quick. Just make out with the blowfish. Okay, so the whole point of this level, or not the whole point of this level, but my main purpose so far right now in this level is to figure out where the hell is Lamont's items. Or item. Pretty sure it's only one item per level. There's never a level that has two items. Although you think there would be. I guess if there was less levels in the whole game, there might they might be in different stages. But since there's only so many levels, and they didn't start telling you about the special items until like the fifth level, I think it was. And I think the first one wasn't even until the sixth level. So yeah. Anyways. Don't want to go back. Oh, I guess I have to, huh? I kind of have to go back this way, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can we go back, like, all the way to the other side, please? No? Can we not go that way? Is there no way to go back? You have to go that way? Oh, no. Are you got to be shitting me. You have to go this way? Oh my lord, this is this is not going to be good, guys. Because I have to go back. There's got to be a switch or something that helps me go back faster. I should have made out with that fish. I'm hella going to die. Hella going to die, hella going to die, hella going to die. Never mind, there's another fish. We're good. You know what? I would have almost welcomed death right now just so I wouldn't have to be in the water anymore. Whatever. Fucking water parts. The water parts aren't so bad if I, if I didn't have to go so far. Jeez. 
this whole level is a water level. Recurring theme in my LPs. Hate for water levels. Oh yeah. What? You're telling me I have to go? Oh hell no. Oh hell no. I have to walk my ass back? Are you serious right now? Oh no. This cannot be good. No, see, I can't. Oh no. This is this is this is bad. This is all you know what? Fuck it guys. I'm killing myself. You know why? Because at least my last checkpoint will take me before it. It will. So how you guys doing for 40 seconds here? I'm doing okay, except for the fact that I'm about to drown. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I just because I went down into the water, now I have to go all the way back just to get some earthlings. See what happens when you fuck things up and you don't practice beforehand? Yeah. So anybody who's uh playing this game alongside of me or trying to play this game on their own on another time and just happens to be following mine and my LP as a playthrough, just know when you get to this area, don't go in the water until you make sure you have all the earthlings you can get. Because apparently you can't go back easily. Because you have to cross the water. There might be an easier way to get back across, don't get me wrong. But I was not about to waste my time trying to figure that out. So I had to waste the whole four minutes figuring out that I was wasting my time. I know. Very productive use of my time, I'm aware. Anyways, right now I'm just trying to make sure I avoid having another burning, nasty-ass burp. That seriously hella burned last time. Okay, so this has got to be the spot where there's the earthlings I missed. It's got to be. Oh, there's Bluna. Let's talk to Bluna. What up, Bluna? Please tell me you know where there's an item. Go. Got another secret? Yep. Another one of the mom's favorite things is near here. Yes. Below here is an underwater maze. If you go in there and then keep going right, not up, you'll find a secret cave. What's there? You'll see. Okay. So, we do have to go in the underwater part to find the next item. That's cool. But first, we gotta find the next earthling. Because without that, we ain't going nowhere, bro. And of course, he's on a little freaking ledge like this. I can't see. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I fell all the way into the water. Whatever. Our goal right now is to find the secret path to the secret area that Bloon, Blue, Baluna just told me about. So let's do exactly that. Just keep going right. Never go, never go up. Never go up. Unless you have to, of course. Always go right. Go right. Go right. More right. Keep going right. Right is right. Right's the only way that's right. Well, clearly we're going to have to go up at some point because we have to go back out of the water. But always go right. Just keep going right. And found it. Way cool cave. It's way cool. What up, little guy? These little bastards. Chester. What up, Lester? Where's the secret door? What? Unless you mean the one on the other side of this pool that has Lamont's eyeball collection in it. Yup. Cool. Alright, so. Is it right here? It's right here. Cool. Right here is the next secret spot. We're going to get Lamont's next favorite item, which in the Eyeball Alley, it's Lamont's Eyeball Collection, which, wow, has a very interesting collection of eyeballs. It's got blue ones and red ones and yellow ones and white ones and ones. Collection of eyeballs. Awesome and disgusting all at the same time. Well, I wager that's about all we can do in this cave, so let's head back outside and uh, swim our ass to the exit that we've so crappily chosen oh, you know what I think we have to drown again because we didn't get all the earthlings and I don't have a fast way to get back yet so we're gonna drown again sorry I don't want to waste another life but I have to if I want to complete this goddamn level already so let's just do that oh we got some super jars that's cool yep death to Earl again that's the last time I'm killing myself on purpose though fuck it I don't care if you can beat a level without all the earthlings and I happen to miss one again, I'm, I'm going to say fuck it, and that's going to be the last of it. We're going to figure out if we can beat it without all the earthlings. Either that, or we're going to see if there's another way we can get back into this area. Because fuck trying to go back across that water. That's just not a possibility. It's just not a possibility. Not even close. 
can't believe I fell all the way back down here. Or back down there. To the freaking... All the way into the water. That was so retarded. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. There's a boogie. Get the boogie. Is there another boogie right here? Doesn't look like it. But I know there's a boogie on one of these ledges here. Where's he at? Where you at, boogie? There he is. He is on this ledge. Oh, fucking great. We already got all the earthlings. Oh my god. Even though I wasted so much time on this level, we're done? No way. Wow. Well, game designers, you rule. Because you w knew that this level was going to take people forever to do. So you had mercy upon their souls. Wow. I can't believe that they did that. That is, that's so nice of them. Then how do they expect you to get back across, though? They really expect you to jump back across? Wow. That's some bullshit is what that is. Well, regardless of all that, I guess we're done on this level. We just have to make it to the end now. And this will be the last time we have to go through the stupid water maze. Assuming we don't die, of course. If we can make through it on the first time. Or I should say the fifth time. Shit, I've been through here enough times. If I lose, I'm just stupid. Nah, we're about there. We're almost out of this place. Almost, I say. <sighs> of course, we have to go back down and around. But we are almost. Ugh, okay. We're done. We're done with the stage. With any luck, this will just be the rocket pad. Korpaki what? This area is seriously called Korpaki what? Oh! Lawanda. Oh, that's why this level of this area is special. You're so cute when you get nervous. Um, thanks. This place is a little confusing. Don't worry. If you get a little lost, I'll be right here if you get lonely. Okay. So the, this last area is not... Oh, God damn it. So it's just going to be a maze? Oh, God. I hate it. Why has it got to be called Kerpwacky what? Probably because we're going to be just checking doors to see where they go. How annoying. I hate this shit. There's a switch. Press it. I don't know. I'm just going to go by the seat of my pants and just fucking try to figure this out. What's up, Peebo? What up, Peebo? Hey, just up and to the right of here, drop a coin in the meter if you're low on funk. I see Bluna. Don't tell her where I am, okay? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Good point, Earl. Good point. Because I don't know where you are either. No reason to use that because I don't need the funk right now. I already have plenty of it. I've already got max funk. What up, Charla? Always crying and shit. <laughs> wow, what a pointless conversation. She doesn't know where she is. I don't know where I am. We could be lost together. Wow, and there's a switch for funk. And yet every goddamn area I'm going through right now is giving me funk. And we're getting closer to that next milestone to get some more. Uh, another one up since I wasted like three on this level. Story about the magic button? No. Well, as I recall, there was a young alien who came across a button and faced. Each time he pressed it, the button did something different than the last. Hmm, that's interesting. Yep, it was quite a story, a long one too. I think his name was Quincy, or was it Armando? Well, never mind. Ah, <sighs> I gotta go. Sorry, Otis. Interesting. Something tells me we're gonna run across a button that does something exactly to what he just said. If we didn't, then what would be the point of listening to his story? I don't know. His story will be relevant, I'm sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep checking all these bushes because... Well, the last couple of episodes have taken longer than this one and it looks like we found our way out of here anyways. So I'm good. I don't really want to press this button because I'm afraid it's gonna take me back to the beginning. And I just want to get the hell out of this place. Thank God. We're done. Ugh, that level was just maze horrific. Maze horrific. Best description I could come up with for the whole damn level. Yes, I'm ready for the next level. Or am I? We're about to find out, I guess. Well, I guess we're done with level 10 here on Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. I'll see you guys next time on level 11. So until then, I fare you guys well and peace.
Oh, 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 oh,